Okay, guys, how are we doing today? So, uh, look, I guess we'll start off with uh, the fact that uh, my camera or my computer don't like the other. So, I'm having a lot of trouble with software. I'm, um, I'm taking footage, but when I go to upload it to the computer, it won't accept it. You know, I was thinking it might be the uh, the memory card, so I changed out the memory card, and that wasn't it. So I'm back to square one, and uh, I'm recording this on my tablet, so I'm kind of limited as to what I can do. I've got it set up to where it's not shaking for you guys, though. So, but what I wanted to show you today is uh, I got these wireless access points. And they turned out being really good cards. Um, <clears throat> we got a lot of them, about 20 of them, sometime last year. <clears throat> and I had my wife post them. She posted 10 of them, and the other 10 we put in a box for me to scrap out when I got around to doing it. And the issue was that I forgot where the box was and uh, so we found them and pulled them out just wanted to show you guys I had uh, 10 of these that I went through and you know these are both a type of memory card uh, it could be the well could also be the uh, wireless cards on them that would actually be my guess then because the uh, inside of the card itself hang on just a second this is what they look like I see and I don't know not super special couple decent chips and gold fingers and uh, I already scratched one of the others and it's copper underneath but that's roughly what I've been into well I did these yesterday and then uh, I've got some other ones over here that we're gonna do today <clears throat> but I told you guys that I used to fish quite a bit and I wanted to show you some pictures. Now this one, he's just a little guy. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this lined up for you. He's just a little guy, three, four pounds. This one, he was about seven or eight pounds. This guy, he's big old 18 pounder. He took me, uh, he was pretty deep took me roughly about 10 minutes to get him in <clears throat> and this is my big one guys 31 pounds 2 ounces had a tag on it now this 18 pounder <clears throat> he was part of a uh, tournament and I actually uh, um, I shared a $500 pot with the 18 pounder the 31 pounder this was not during tournament time, but it had a tag on it, so I got 50 bucks. <clears throat> so, now, these access points are the exact same uh, brand as the other ones were. And I've already taken the uh, main screws out here. I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. There we go. So, twist the antennas out. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through it. But inside each of these antennas, 
is a uh, board. It's got a little bit of copper tracing on it. Um, now you guys know I like to uh, send my plastic off to be recycled. So what I do is I'll pop these open, but I'm not going to make you sit through that. each have a piece of ferrite on it. I just throw that in the scrap steel bucket. Each one of these connections has uh, <clears throat> gold plating over brass. And yeah, just so you guys know, there is not a whole lot of... Oh, I guess I should keep it in the camera, huh? There's not a lot of gold on this, guys, but it's got gold nonetheless. So I just throw it into a, uh, a coffee can, and I throw it, and I save them back, you know. And over the years, you know, these little guys like this may, uh, may add up to a few pounds, and maybe by then uh, it'll be a lot easier to do the... Uh, sulfuric acid cell which is quite easy now if you put the time in it and learn learn how to do it here's the boards we got two together And what these really remind me of is uh, phone boards. And uh, these little uh, <clears throat> little pieces of iron going around each one. All right. So now we're going to separate these. And <clears throat> the pins are not that impressive. There's a, a little bit of a gold tint to them, but. Uh, I believe it's probably mostly copper. Here's the back side of that board. That's what she was hiding. So we got some nice tantalums here. A couple really nice MLCCs. Now my guess would be that these MLCCs are probably just as good as the ones you find on uh, on servers. A couple little IC chips here and there. Um, these guys are optical something or another. I can't remember, but they're uh, there's no value in little or no value. Flip her over. Now I had a hard time. So underneath the aluminum, you can see we got one, two, three, four VGAs. Then we got this guy, another IC, a few more over here, gold pins in this, 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 and you know what? a Ditton. Oh, okay, and a transformer. Now these are. Uh, they're just filled with little copper coils. And then we got our battery. Got to take the battery off. Now, you see this big blank spot? That's where a BGA, where they used way too much adhesive to hold this guy on. Now, if you give me just a second. Okay, if you guys run into this, just try and get it to a screwdriver up underneath of it. Pry up a little bit all the way around, like that. If 
It's just like you were taking the black tops off of a BGA. You know, there's your gold corner. Except we're doing it in reverse. So now we got this guy, and he's stuck on here with uh, some pretty heavy adhesive. What I do... Can you see that? Yeah. I'll put this guy on the corner like this. pops him up so sorry about for the shaking there but as you see they're not the greatest but uh, they're pretty decent boards I'll get um, I'll probably get like a dollar fifty a pound on these <clears throat> set those off to the side we can pop open a couple more So, um, yeah, that was the main reason for making this video today is, like I said, I've been, uh, I've been making videos, but I've been losing just as many as I'm making. That last video I put out, I lost easily two hours worth of, uh, footage. Um, I mean, I'm hoping... I may be able to retrieve it a little later date or something. Is what it, it's saying that it can't be read, and that's the only reason that I believe it may be a software issue. But here in the, I'm getting a brand new computer here in a couple weeks, and I'm gonna try and upload it onto that and see if I do any better or have any better luck with it. So, guys, it's uh, 48 degrees and sunny out today, and uh, they're saying that uh, it's going to be 60 tomorrow and 70 the next day. Of course, it's going to come with rain. I don't really like that part of it, but at least I ain't got to run the uh, fireplace, right? So, uh, I hope you guys were able to stay warm this winter. Hope you guys are ready for a really busy summer. I know I am. I've got uh, about 5,000 flyers that I'm going to be handing out. I'll, I'll cut them in a later time. I won't make you guys sit through it. But yeah, I got about 5,000 flyers I'm going to hand out. I'm uh, building a website now. And it's been taking a lot of my time. Of course, also, I spent all day yesterday working on my taxes. Which, I know a lot of you guys just do this as a hobby. So you're not really having to clean the whole tax game, but uh, seeing as I'm treating it, trying to build a business out of it, I've got to show an income. So, all right, I'm gonna rattle again. Hey, I see he came up pretty easy. All right. And we might as well do one more, right? I've got another five more to do over there, but like I said, I'm not going to make you sit through it. Plus, I'm not sure how many stories I had today. I had, uh, I've got the grandkids I've got to pick up here in a little bit, so... Trying to get as much work done as I can. We've got them all weekend. My daughter's uh, moving into her new house. So uh, we've got them till uh, Tuesday morning, looks like. 
picked them, or she dropped them off on Friday. We had them all day yesterday. And then, <clears throat> or all day Friday. And then yesterday, uh, they went to uh, stay with their cousins. <clears throat> and we'll be picking them up here in a bit. We'll have them all day today, tomorrow, and then part of Tuesday. Or maybe, I don't know, they may be picked up on Monday, I don't know. But, that's it guys, that's the gist of it. You know, I hope, uh, I hope I at least showed you something that was worth it. If nothing else, if you can get these wireless access points pretty cheap, I'd say go for it. I know, um, I wish I would have found that box about two months ago. Because last month, they sold a lot of about 900 of these. And, uh, I can't remember what it went for. But, it's hard telling the site it was selling. A lot of the time it'll sell for uh, retail prices, so you can't always win. So that's it, guys. I'll, uh, I'll catch you next trip, and we'll close out with another look at the catfish. You guys take care. Mike's out.